い、フェダーズ見ていただきましたありがとうございますえー、っとですね監督は今残念ながら奈良にはお越しいただけなかったんですけどももちろんあのオンラインの方でつながっていますんで早速ねお呼びしたいと思うんですけども Can we connect with the director Omar online? Hello! <laughs> Where are you?、Um, I'm in Cairo. Cairo. Oh, very far. Very nice to see you here, though. Thank you very much.、Uh, would you please give us a word? Would you give us a word? Would you give us a word? A word about what? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Can you give us some. Something from you? Can we hear something from you first?、Uh, like what? Anything? Would you like to say hello? Anything about、yeah. your film from you before we move on to QA?、Uh, I'm, 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 I'm happy that,、uh, that you watched the film in, in the festival.、Uh, I couldn't come, it's too far. So, <laughs> but I want to come.、Mm-hmm. Shall we move on to QA? Okay? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, let's go to Cairo. I'm going to go to the city. 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 To your microphone. 質疑あ質問ある方ぜひご視聴いただけましたらマイクを持,ち持って上がりますのでどなたかいらっしゃいますか ?Anybody? Don't be shy. ぜひあの思い切ってあの1人目がねたまにこう時間がかかるんですけどもどなたかいらっしゃいますかその下を向かずに<笑>待ってどうぞ手を挙げてみてください。はい、真ん中の、えっと、男性の方に黒いシャツ。あ、あ、上かあれと出ましたあ。とても素晴らしい映画だと思います。あの最後シーンが見終わったら、あの映画全編映画行ってるなんかみんなの。日常生活とか料理をするとかあの動物殺すとかそれ全部なんか最後シーンがあったらその前の絵描くというという現実世界というか全部意味が持っているはすごく感じていましたあの質問はなんか聞きたいのはそういう監督自身はなんかそういう生活している国とか現実は社会は本当にはなんか映画の中の世界と本当にはそのまま絵描いてるかあとそのお生活している国の中に一部はそういうみんなはそういうふうに生活しているかすごく気になっていますあとはそういう監督はその作品作っているきっかけというか、なんかインスピレーションというか、は何ですかという質問です。うん、ありがとうございます。Uh, thank you for the questions.、Uh, the, the first one, the film, I shot the film in、uh, this place doesn't exist. It's,、uh, mm. it's sets that we created with the production designer and、uh, some CGI.、Um, Uh, there is no place like this. It can, it's, it's a hell. <laughs> And、uh, the inspiration was, my, was a lot of my, of my personal nightmares and dreams.、Uh, I don't watch a lot of films usually.、Um, I used to watch films in the past, but now,、um, like the last six, seven years, I'm into my head. And I made this film from my nightmares. Um, and many scenes I were really in my nightmares. So I created the atmosphere and the place, and the, many of the scenes based on these nightmares.、Uh, 
uh, and I, I I hate to shoot the reality as is. So I always try to uh, change the perception and the status quo of the reality and to create my own setups to do my films in. Because especially uh, the way they act, the language, the not the language, but the 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 way they speak, the I mean the characters in the film, everything is is not realistic. It's very abstract and. Uh, as if you as if you entered uh, somewhere in the in the world in like somewhere that we never saw before so this is always my my goal in my films to make something a bit surprising uh, to try to uh, to grab the attention of the audience to think more with the human beings in the film so it ended up with just a film about human beings that can happen anywhere anytime ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。他に質問がある方ぜひ挙手の方お願いいたします。Anybody else? Um, thank you so film. I enjoyed it so much. And my question is, I wonder why you made the decision to make him become a chicken but not other animals. Is there any particular reason for it? Thank you. Uh, the, the 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 chicken idea was uh, <clears throat> it was the first idea that came to my mind uh, because this is fil this film started as a line uh, I, I was I was just writing trying to like I, uh, I was writing just a note and I found that I, and I found this line I wrote a woman uh, kills her husband because of a chicken and I found that it's very interesting to make a f that it, it's a very interesting line for a film. Um, for two for two main reasons. First, it's funny. It's very funny that this tall man is chicken, and the other thing, it's a bit scary because the chicken is very fragile animal, uh, but it's it has a huge impact on their life in the film. So I decided to follow the intuition and to keep it chicken as is as the first idea, because if you just make it another animal like something with, like like. I don't know, like monkey or rabbit or something else. It it's a different meaning. It's not. Um, I I wanted a very uh, relevant animal to human being. You know, like has an, an animal without with no reactions, an animal that is not a pet, an animal that is that is not giving any uh, any 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 that is, that is not interacting at all with the human beings. And I think the chicken is just a chicken. And and it looks it looks there's something in how the chicken looks uh, on camera that really grabbed my attention. So I like the idea of transforming the father into a totally irrelevant uh, animal. Uh, and chicken was the best uh, the best and the funniest uh, transformation. Thank you. Anybody else, please raise your hand. Hi, I just first wanted to say thank you, of course, um, so much for being here and for sharing the film. Um, it was really striking to me, and the ending was just like truly like the whole film encapsulated so much. Um, and I would love to ask so many questions, but I'll limit myself to two that I was thinking of. Um, so you said this was coming from your nightmares that you had, and I was wondering what made them nightmares, and um, like from the perspective of whom? Like, were you, were you an outsider? Were you the wife? Were you the husband? Um, and then my second question um, was, I really appreciated the aesthetics of the film and of the shots. I'm thinking in particular of the scene with her and her children at the fountain. Um, and in the bedroom with golden light. Um, and though it was kind of nightmarish, there was still beauty in the way things were framed and looked at. So I was wondering if there was a thought process for you in determining the style of the filmmaking. Mm, thank you. Okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't get the first question. Um, can you elaborate more on the first one of the nightmares? The nightmare, right? The, the, the question was about uh, uh, what kind of nightmare brought you to this idea? Were you the position of the father, the wife, or the children? What was the nightmare was like for your own yeah. experience that oh, you know, influenced this idea? Yeah. yeah, yeah. the nightmares, they were, not, they were not the film. 
because the, 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 it was not that I saw the film in the nightmare. No, it was I, I experienced in my nightmares some moments like the film. So it was from my personal point of view. It was my own uh, like I was. It was just me in some situations like in the film. Like these smoke uh, moments, I always get this nightmare that I'm staying in a place and the smoke is coming to me, or the scene uh, when the when the workers they enter the home to take the to take out the uh, the TV and the stuff and they hit the kid. I saw this before and uh, and all this. Um, uh, the, the 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 like. I don't remember exactly because I always try to get some ideas from my, my nightmares and to change it to the way I work is is very is very flexible when I deal with my ideas. I always follow my intuition. I don't follow the rules. I just throw what I feel and then I try to put it into a script that fits my cinema. That is more the, that is I I consider it very classic. Uh, I consider my scripts. That they are very classic in terms of the the the, the, the writing, but the 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 visual interpretation is totally uh, uh, let's call it a bit radical on the when it when when you compare it to cinema, because I try not to show any. I try to be to be as much as I can away from the. Uh, from the expected uh, cinema language in my films. Um, I mean, like visually, the film looks like photography. It's, uh, it's all from the point of view of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the mom, that she is, she is the lead character of the film, and we see the life through her eyes, and they wanted to capture the moments of, like, to build up attention from the beginning to the end, as if we're seeing spe specific moments like photography. And I always try to play with the perception of using the cinema and the photography and the sounds together. Um, the, the, and the process of filmmaking, uh, like, the, um, do you want to translate maybe? Or yes, that would be good. Yeah, thank you. Um, the, this, this means that the process of filmmaking is, is a bit different. Um, uh, based on the idea that I'm always trying to push myself to make my own films, and what I mean by my own films are is when I feel that there's something very special, as if it's a secret that I'm going to to reveal in my film, and it's just a feeling, you know, it's just let's call it a gut feeling or intuition that you feel that your film is really your film, and no one can make it your own way when i feel this feeling i i i i decide to move on on the process of prepping and uh, working with my team and and what we do usually that we try to to avoid any expectations and and the the inspiration is always coming from the story itself um it, it's a very spontaneous, long process of of researching and uh, and and uh, v visiting some some places and spending time with the thinking about the scenes or listening to music. It's a very entertaining process for me. Um, and then, the, when when you go to the shooting, you just you're very um um everything is well prepped, but I keep a space or a margin for the for the actors to do whatever they they do they want because i in this film there was no acting and they were non actors and it was intentional not to have acting it was intentional to let them not not to act or to simplify the actions and there is always something uh, impressive when you have someone who doesn't act in front of the camera and sometimes they do mistakes if you compare it to the professional acting, but these mistakes are creating life in the film. So I can tell you it's a, it's a matter of uh, of enjoying the experience and just following your feelings, you know? So it was like that. Mm -hmm.
Thank you very much. それではお時間が来てしまいました。たくさんの質問の方もありがとうございます。Thank you very much, Omar. That was the end of questions. And thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. はい、ありがとうございました。See you next time. You. Hope to see you in Nara. 次は Nara で。Thank you. <笑> Bye. はい、ありがとうございました。えー、そうですね、フェダーズ、オマー監督、カイロから。登場していただきました。で次の、えー、上映は六時十五分からですね。またコンペティション、そして、えー、インパーソンでの、えー、監督の Q&A になります。そちらもお越しください。ありがとうございました。